In the enchanting world of coral reefs, where vibrant colors and intricate ecosystems thrive, one small creature stands out as both charismatic and remarkable, the clownfish. Immortalized by the animated film, Finding Nemo, these pint-sized fish have captured the hearts and imaginations of people worldwide. Beyond their fame on the silver screen, clownfish are an essential part of coral reef ecosystems, playing unique roles and exhibiting fascinating behaviors. In this video, we will dive into the captivating world of clownfish and discover what makes them truly exceptional. Clownfish, scientifically known as Amphiprionini, are a subfamily of the family Pomacentridae. They belong to the order Persiforms, which includes various species of fish. There are approximately 30 recognized species of clownfish, each with its own unique coloration and pattern. The most well-known clownfish species is the orange clownfish, also known as Amphiprion percula, which was featured prominently in Finding Nemo. Other popular species include the Achelarus clownfish, Amphiprion achelarus, and the tomato clownfish, Amphiprion frenatus. Clownfish are primarily found in the warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, with the highest diversity in the waters surrounding Southeast Asia, Northern Australia, and the Western Pacific. They inhabit the protective embrace of sea anemones, forming mutually beneficial relationships with these stinging creatures. One of the most remarkable aspects of clownfish biology is the unique and mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship with sea anemones. While most creatures would be paralyzed or even killed by the tentacles of sea anemones, clownfish have evolved a special mucus layer on their skin that prevents the anemones' stinging cells, or nematocysts, from harming them. In return for protection from potential predators, Clownfish provide food and nutrients to their host anemones. The clownfish's presence also deters other potential anemone-eating species, as they act as fearless guards, darting in and out of the tentacles while maintaining their safe haven within the anemone. This close association allows clownfish to flourish, as they gain protection and easy access to prey while supporting the health of the anemone. Clownfish exhibit a fascinating social structure within their small, tight-knit communities. They live in small groups consisting of a dominant breeding pair and several non-breeding subordinates. The largest fish in the group is the female, while the second largest becomes the male. All other clownfish are immature males. Should the dominant female die or be removed, the largest immature male will undergo a sex change, transforming into a female and taking on the role of the breeding female. This unique adaptation ensures that the clownfish community can adapt to changes in its environment and maintain its reproductive capacity. Clownfish are known for the dedicated parenting and intricate reproductive behaviors. Breeding pairs lay their eggs on flat surfaces near their anemone homes, with males meticulously guarding and tending to the eggs. They fan them with their fins to provide oxygen, remove debris, and protect them from potential threats. Upon hatching, clownfish larvae are carried away by ocean currents, embarking on a perilous journey before settling in a suitable habitat, often near another anemone. This dispersal helps prevent inbreeding within isolated populations of clownfish. Despite their fascinating biology and endearing personalities, clownfish face several threats to their survival. Climate change-induced coral bleaching, pollution, habitat destruction, and overcollection for the aquarium trade all pose significant risks to these remarkable creatures. Efforts to conserve clownfish and their fragile coral reef habitats include the establishment of marine protected areas. Sustainable harvesting practices for the aquarium trade, and raising public awareness about the importance of coral reefs in the global ecosystem. Clownfish, with their captivating behaviors and unique adaptations, continue to captivate the hearts of marine enthusiasts and nature lovers alike. Their symbiotic relationship with sea anemones, 
complex social structure, and dedicated parental care make them a true marvel of the ocean. However, they also serve as a poignant reminder of the fragile balance within coral reef ecosystems and the urgent need for conservation efforts to protect these extraordinary creatures and the delicate homes beneath the waves. As we celebrate the charm of clownfish, let us also take action to ensure their survival in the face of growing environmental challenges. Clownfish, those vibrant and charismatic creatures of the ocean, are full of unique and fascinating facts that make them stand out in the underwater world. Here are some intriguing and lesser known facts about clownfish. 1. Immunity to anemone stings. Clownfish have a remarkable adaptation that allows them to live among the stinging tentacles of sea anemones without getting hurt. They secrete a mucus on their skin that tricks the anemone into thinking they're part of it, thus avoiding the stinging nematocysts. 2. Sequential hermaphrodites. Clownfish exhibit a form of sequential hermaphroditism, where they can change their gender in response to environmental factors. If the dominant female in a group dies or is removed, the largest male will undergo a sex change and become a female, ensuring the group's reproductive success. 3. Unique colors and patterns. Clownfish species come in a variety of colors and patterns, from the iconic orange and white stripes of the Achelaris clownfish to the striking black and yellow appearance of the Clark's clownfish. Each species has its own distinct coloration, making them easily recognizable. 4. Vocal communication. Clownfish communicate with each other through a series of chirping and popping sounds. These sounds are produced by grinding their teeth together and are used for maintaining territory, courtship, and warning of potential threats. 5. Symbiotic relationship with anemones. Clownfish have a mutualistic relationship with sea anemones. While they provide protection to the anemones by driving away polyp-eating fish, they gain shelter among the tentacles and access to food scraps from the anemones' meals. 6. Communal breeding. Clownfish typically live in small groups consisting of a breeding pair and several non-breeding subordinates. These subordinates help care for and protect the eggs and juveniles, ensuring the success of the entire group. 7. Cleaning stations. Clownfish are known to visit cleaning stations on the reef, where they allow small cleaner fish to remove parasites and dead skin from their bodies. This behavior helps maintain their health and hygiene. 8. Ocean nomads. Clownfish have a pelagic larval stage, which means that their eggs hatch into larvae that are carried away by ocean currents. These larvae spend weeks to months in the open ocean before settling in a suitable habitat, often near another anemone. 9. Invasive behavior. In some regions, Introduced clownfish species have become invasive, disrupting local ecosystems. For example, the maroon clownfish Premnus biaculeatus has become invasive in parts of the Red Sea, potentially threatening native species and habitats. 10. Vulnerable to climate change. Like many other marine species, clownfish are vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. Coral bleaching, caused by rising sea temperatures, can harm both the anemones and the clownfish that rely on them for protection. Clownfish are not just captivating due to their appearance but also because of their intricate biology and behaviors. The unique adaptations and complex social structures continue to intrigue scientists and ocean enthusiasts around the world.